Now you go in there. You're doing the portage? Keep going. You just go around the mud. There you go, girls, your first portage. That's about as easy as it gets for a portage. <laughs> Oh honey, we have to keep paddling. Day one of our first backcountry canoe trip with our whole family. We are on Hambone Lake. We put in at the Magnetowan access point earlier today and did one short uh, 135 meter portage from Magnetowan into swim Hambone. Too. We're gonna go for a swim, yeah. And we found our campsite and it's absolutely beautiful here. We are, uh, we paddled a little bit in the rain, but we've been really lucky it's held off while we set up. The girls sure are did. sure did. The girls are enjoying some peanut butter and jam roll ups. <laughs> so, this is our home for the night. And we're just kind of getting organized, and this site has an amazing fire. fire pit. Very awesome. And some great benches. We got our day packs, raincoats, water bottles. And <laughs> don't forget tent. Our, oh yeah, we can't forget our tent. Don't forget <laughs> Our home for the night over here. Our Eureka El Capitan 4, which we absolutely love. You can do it. Well, that was another easy portage. Not bad at all. On Ralph Bice Lake. I think we're so looking at the right place. Well, you can look at the map. Those people at the portage said there was a campsite that had a sandy beach to swim in. If it's available, we'll take a look. That's part of the exploring, right?
we just arrived here at what we think will be our home for the night on Ralph Bice Lake. We are at the campsite sort of just above the P of Ralph on the old Jeff's map. It has a great sandy area for swimming, a little beach. Um, if you can see it over there, it looks like an awesome rock for sitting in the sun. And we're just sort of starting to explore. So we just sort of dropped off some of our bags. It was perfect timing because the wind was just starting to pick up on Ralph Bice and uh, here we are. Oof, looks like a giant fire pit here. A couple of awesome Is log benches. What did you find? The trail to the thunder. The thunder box. Yeah. Good job. What do you think? Where should we put our tent? I don't know. I wonder what wow, this is uh, looking like a massive and well-used campsite. Love the campsite. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. Yeah. What's that? Uh, uh, what? A loon? That's a loon. That's a loon flying. Yeah. Where? Where's, where is it flying? I don't know. It is flying west. <laughs> Beautiful trail, eh? I don't think I can go any faster, honey. This is hard work. Lots of maple trees. They're gonna turn really pretty colors in a month for the fall. We're almost done, Lissa. That wasn't bad at all. Man, all these portages are just amazing put-ins. Go girls! We are camped on Little Trout Lake. And today we have a rest day, so we're just doing some exploring. So we did a short paddle down to the portage to Queer Lake, which is only 175 meters. So right now we're hiking the portage to Queer Lake. And from there we'll just paddle around. There's a creek to check out. All of the portages so far have been really flat and easy. Lori and I have done backcountry canoe trips before with quite difficult portages. So this, this route here is uh, amazing, excellent, excellent for families or for first time trippers. Brought my hiking boots to wear on the portages, but I certainly haven't needed them. My keen sandals have been just fine. Very pretty here. 
Lots of beech trees, yellow birch, and lots and lots of cedar. On Ralph Vice, we were hearing barred owls and great horned owls last night, or when we camped there. Last night on Little Trout, it was really quiet. No owls, not even the loons were calling. It was pretty chilly last night, maybe, I don't know. And here we are, another easy portage. berries have some berries. Here, moose tracks. There. There's my small hand. Following through the mud. There's some more. And then up the trail a little ways. Moose scat. Moose poop. I love how the trails aren't just used by humans, but they're also used by wildlife. Oh, we made it, guys! We're here on night five um, of our backcountry canoe trip with the girls. We're on Ralph Bice Lake tonight. We paddled in just from Little Trout. And it's pretty busy on this lake. A lot of campsites were taken, but we settled on this site. And uh, you know, it'll work for the night. campsite on Hambone Lake. It's turned into a beautiful day. I feel like we deserve some good weather. We got everything dried out. Went for a swim. 
Now we're doing some exploring. little hemlock grove here. There's a stream running behind our campsite. How cool is that? That's a stream. Yeah. It's just a pile of wetness. Oof. I'm glad it's not bug season. <laughs> We have a swamp in our back. We do. <laughs> Let's see this one. Let's follow it. And it's kind of a big one. It's a water pond. Coming through the dam. Do you think the beaver did that? That is pretty neat. There is a dam right behind our campsite. We're here at the Magnetowan Access Point, our six day first ever backcountry canoe trip as a family of four is over. What did you think of the trip, Em? Daddy? I loved it. Lissy? I loved it. Loved it? Yeah. I loved it. I don't even want it to be over. I think usually you hit a point in a trip where you're like, yeah, it'd be good to, you know, be warm and dry and watch videos or something. But this time I could just keep going. We're kind of dangerously low on food and toilet paper though, so we can't keep going. <laughs> <laughs>